Bitch, my new so poppin', I might fuck around and leak it. Ay, skin so smooth, baby, here I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. Bro, hoes not a star, never was. Never y'all was season, ay. I'm, I'm, I'm a dog, gotta put me on a leash, y'all. Took a spot. What's up, YouTube? Today we, um... Are going to talk about what we gonna talk about, y'all? Mm, breakups and how to get over them. Yep. I was, yeah, and I feel like this is like a good topic to talk talk about because you know some girls out there, you know, they just they don't know what to do with yeah. them. They keep going. Yeah, yeah. 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 back and forth. Like, mm -hmm. That's unacceptable. So. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, ring that bell. Mm -hmm. And I'll have, you know, Stephanie's name and Emily. Emily's name <laughs> <laughs> under here. So you can go follow them. So, like, what's, what can be, you know. Um, nice for my personal experience, how I got over my relationship, I just cried and cried. I cried it out. Even though I wanted to be like, let's make, let's maybe give it another try. I still like right, no, right. because there's plenty of other people out there. Plenty in the Fine city. people out there. Let me tell you that. That right. <laughs> yeah. There you go, treat you right. Like, so you can have like, it's just not, it's not one option, like one category of people, like dudes you could talk to. There's like yeah. plenty of options, different race, all that stuff. So it's like, you know, you gotta explore that. Can't just keep. Cause sometimes that one person that you want to be with is it's probably not, not the best. Right, yeah. Yeah. Not the person you gonna be with. That's so true. Um. Okay. So I can go next. How I got over my ex breakup. I like basically just took time and just worked on myself and mm -hmm. just you know basically just a lot of self love with me and. I didn't really go seeking for no attention for nobody to like, you know, feel that void. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, I just, yeah, I cried. I had my nights, I cried. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I guess, once I got to like a little stage, like I just found my peace. I'm like, well, I don't need nobody to like, girl, you, you, yeah. the, you the stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Look in the mirror and look at you like, you the boy, his mama. Uh -huh. like everybody. Exactly. <laughs> so that's how I got over it. And with my personal experience dealing with exes and everything like that, is just with my current ex, I had a really hard time with letting go of that relationship. We were on and off for three years. And it was very, very hard for me to just let go because I was like, I'm in love. This is my first love. Like, and then, like, when you're. When it's like years, you're like, no, you're exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna let this uh, go. I don't waste that all my time. Right. No, we gonna stick this out. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I am. And so like it's like with my other two boyfriends, like I was like, yeah, like you know, like I love them and I, I loved them like as in like I love for them. But this was like the first person that I was actually like I really was in love with. So it was very hard to let go of the situation. Mm -hmm. But rec like maybe like. I don't want to say recently, but like, like maybe like eight months ago, mm -hmm. and like still, it was still a work in process, like going throughout um, the eight months leading up to now. But like, um, cause we've been separated for like a year, but yeah, it was like yeah, like getting over him and stuff. Basically, I had to really take a, a step back and be like. I care about you more than I care about myself and really I really needed to look in the mirror and like say look love yourself before you, you know love you love somebody else because I was really letting him, not necessarily him but like the whole relationship was consuming me and kind of like I felt like in a lot of different aspects I was being taken advantage of so it's kind of like you know you really need to take time to really know who you are as a person mm -hmm. before you start talking to another person after um a breakup especially like the one that i went through so it's just kind of like and that really helped me because like i mean i honestly wish even to this day that we could have been together but just knowing that you know, it just wasn't a good situation. You gotta know when things are to toxic and when things, are you know, like, yeah, right. you know, when things are mendable. Cause some things are able you can, to fix. You yeah. Can fix it, but 
but you need to know when things cannot be fixed and you need to just let not go. Not be dumb. Exactly. Don't be dumb. Don't, don't be dumb. Be dumb. <laughs> Do not be the girl running Do back that. every time you cheat on you. Uh -huh. 15 times. Do not do this. this. And don't be that girl that be like, oh, he know at home. He no. no. He don't know where <laughs> home is. He obviously is getting lost on the way home, sis. No. <laughs> right? Like, don't be bad. He do not. He need directions, like, home every night. Like, come on. Not even home every night. He don't even need to go out. <laughs> exactly. He don't need to go out, like, at Like, home. seriously? Um, because don't be bad. It don't be that person because it's really nothing is worth I don't care who the person is. It doesn't matter. Oh, I think we need to just fix it because we've been together for this long mm -hmm. or we need to fix it because he's just the coolest person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. No, because I thought my ex was the coolest person ever. Like, and that was another, that was, and I was young when I met him. Like, I was mm -hmm. really like 17 when I met him. He was a lot older than me. So it was like, you know, I just thought he was so cool. And then it once you matter. really know that person, he's like... You're not even the same person that yeah. I met. It's like, who are you? Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so y'all just literally, just really, when getting over that person too, I suggest don't be trying to be friends with them. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to be like um, Instagram, following each other on Instagram. None of that. It's Unfollow. not gonna work. Unfollow. Unfollow. Mm -hmm. Block if you have to. Exactly. Oh, delete number. Delete the message. <laughs> for real, because you're gonna go try and delete that number because you're gonna go try. I know I used to. Let me go find the thread. I'll be on my phone, like, oh, that is so sweet. Wait, <laughs> exactly. For like, one second, like, for dang, real. I remember he said that. To delete me. the pictures, sis, because I'll be looking at the pictures, like, oh my gosh, let me text him. Right. I'm right. tripping. <laughs> I was tripping. Let me go look. <laughs> Let me call him real quick. Wait, what he doing? Right. <laughs> but it's uh -oh. not worth it. It's not being petty either when you block them. Like that's literally just helping you to get over get over the situation. When you're over the situation, okay, maybe we could talk about you know having some kind of like cordial, cordial situation. Yeah. But as far as you know, trying to follow, like keep in touch, following them after the relationship is over with, it doesn't work. Cause then you gonna keep going back to them and keep going back to them, mm -hmm. and if the relationship's not good, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing you to fix let it. it go. Just let it go. There are so many. There's billions of people on this earth. They will treat you right. Exactly. They will worship the ground that you walk, walk on. Exactly. They really will. Instead of having. And if you don't know, just wait for it, and you gonna say like, for seriously, real. Like, for real, for real. All you gotta do is just. You don't have you don't have to go you looking for nobody. Not. They gonna come find you. Exactly. So you just sit back, do what you're doing. If you going to school, work, you're an entrepreneur. It don't matter what you're doing. Just focus on you until that person comes to find you. Know, sweep you off your feet. Exactly. Like get all your stuff together, and once you're getting all your things together, that's when everything falls in place mm -hmm. in your life. And I mean, I'm not saying once you get everything together, uh, now you shine an arm, it's gonna come up. Right, and it's even, but, and, and it's like I wouldn't say it's hard for anybody to come find you, but it's like if you're a female that's like really like on your stuff, like you're taking care of your priorities, mm -hmm. and you know, dudes love seeing you know. Oh, this girl, you know, she taking care of, you know, she looking nice, she doing this, she got her nails in, or, you know, she working, she going to school. Like, they love to see somebody, you know, a girl doing something for themselves, not just mm. the girl that's just sitting, you know, sitting right. around doing nothing. Exactly. Like, as long as you, you know, doing what you need to do, they going to come find you, I, I swear. Mm -hmm. You just have to be, you know, smart enough to be like, okay, well, let me see how you are if I'm going to, like, really, you know, mm -hmm. talk to you or whatever, you know. Because mm -hmm. you're the person that control your life, right? Exactly. You don't have to deal with what you don't want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And dealing with, and when you do break up with somebody and, <laughs> you know, like, I wouldn't suggest, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to just, like, hurry up and move on. But at the same time, it's like, don't. 
hurry up and hop into another relationship at least yeah. don't do that because really at the end of the day it's going to end in shambles just like the, the last, the last one did. one. because you really just using them as a rebound to get over that person right. that you were just with mm -hmm. and it's like not only are you hurting yourself but you're hurting the other person the that person. you just got involved right. in a situation mm -hmm. that didn't need to be in that situation because you was just hurt at the time and you just wanted somebody to be there right. like yeah. you gotta really just pull your panties up and <laughs> big girl pants on for real it just i mean dylan everybody goes through heartbreaks everybody goes through it's normal that's life like you are not alone you're not like the jackson mm -hmm. saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm here with you mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't might be hardest than others, but shoot. You gonna get through it. You, you gonna get through it. You gonna get through it. Just like, love yourself please. before you start loving somebody else. Please. For real. Because it it'll definitely It'll take a toll over you. For real, for real. You'll probably be crying in the mirror, like mm -hmm. in the bathtub, like, no, this is good. <laughs> for real. Crying to music that you shouldn't be crying right. to. <laughs> Just because no. it got a slow beat. Go ahead and don't cry. Like, no. No, sis. Enjoy your friends. And if you don't have friends, friends enjoy then. your family. And if you don't have family, enjoy you. Talk to God. <laughs> that too. Okay. That's your I don't know who right else you're going to talk to other than that. But well, I'm if you got right. a dog, yeah. Yeah. or a counselor, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or a counselor. I mean, you can't just pull counselors out your pocket. Yeah. So, but you know, anything, just like be around people who love you. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't gotta, be, you ain't gotta have a man. And for dudes, you ain't gotta have a dude. I mean, no That's women. <laughs> <laughs> there are dudes and dudes. You ain't gotta have a dude either. Like, I mean, you can do better by us. yourself, right? For real, you can do better by yourself. Like, seriously. Yo, night and shining army will come too. Mm -hmm. One day, it might not come when you want to, but it, it's gonna come. It's gonna come, come. exactly. Gonna come. So y'all, just really like y'all, we just keep saying, love yourself, love yourself. After a breakup, it's so important to love yourself because mm -hmm. you start blaming yourself, thinking that you're the issue, right. and nine times out of ten, it it's was them. not you. Right. You and it might like not even been them. Maybe you guys were just not meant to be together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be all that. Like, maybe you guys just were not meant to be. You guys can have love for each other and everything. It just you can just love them from a distance. You exactly. Y'all just was y'all's personalities just did not click, mm -hmm. and this was not a good situation. Mm -hmm. And some people is with guys cheating or whatever. You know, like that's the worst. That it's, is the worst. It's the worst. Dude, you want know, to go beat him up. Right. I don't know how you want to fight everybody. Fight True. her, him, which the mom, for real. Right, 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 right. The sisters, all of them. Everybody, because they knew. And especially when they go to <laughs> they knew. They, they knew what he was doing. They, right. they knew he was bringing that girl over. Uh -huh. Hey, girl. That's my friend. No, no, no hey, it girl. Was not I want to fight you, too. <laughs> like, for real. But at the end of the day, that's just, that's some issues that he got. That ain't your fault, and it's not because you wasn't good enough for him. Right. Don't ever think that. You're not good enough. Because it, you just might have not been the person for him. That's not necessarily that, that you're not good enough for him. And maybe he just is trash. Maybe he still have like a little boy mindset. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Play, There's play, grown play. men who still have little boy mindsets. There, there is. There is. There is. So it's just like, you know, you can't. Don't blame yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't blame. Don't sit there and cry and say you're not good enough. Because mm -hmm. you are good enough. Mm -hmm. It was just. That's like y'all ever like sat there and like reminisce on some of the stuff that happened in your life? You're like really? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Did I really just cry like that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Like, I, oh, yeah. I, I used heart. to be like that. Oh, I used Lord. to be like that. Oh Lord. Both my friend, my high, both of my <laughs> high school relationships. It's like I just feel like just love yourself. You know when you're getting over somebody and. Talk to God. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, go hang out with your friends. Don't do, you know, 
don't have those friends that are Dude. like <laughs> don't hang out with them because like they'll you know lead you to a direction and that. it's not good oh we're trying to get over somebody uh -huh. like seriously because you're not gonna feel better after yeah you're not so, so just love yourself talk to god first you know just focus on what you need to do and that's how you get off of somebody and when that person come and sleep you off your feet you know you don't have all this baggage you know coming in the new relationship so it'll be all like beautiful yeah fresh start everything mm -hmm. so don't yeah so like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and follow Stephanie and Emily. Yeah. And yeah, we probably might be doing, you know, some more girl talks yes. for you guys. Yeah. I know y'all need it. We all need it. <laughs> we so, all do. We do. We do. We do. Because I hate to see like a lot of girls tearing, you know, each other down or they laughing yeah. at the next girl because right. he didn't did this to the dude that she talking to uh -huh. like i hate that like exactly. i feel like all girls should be as one not i hate know nobody i know especially with the whole with the girls um when when a girl cheats when your boyfriend cheats on you with another girl right and she'd be bragging it's about it and i would say yeah. what you're doing like, and she'd be bragging okay. about it she's laughing at you she laughing at you uh -huh. because she knew and i hate those people that be like if uh if only she knew okay well tell me well right. tell, tell me girl me. like what's wrong with you yeah mm -hmm. but then the girls that are like i hate the situation where the girl didn't know the other girl didn't know and then the, uh the girlfriend get upset and then, right and it's like i've had situations where that's like happy that. me too and I'll, me too. I'll tell like i'll be like you know like i'll be mad at the girl because i'm like f you but like at the you same know, time like, like you knew of me but yeah. i know you but like how could you and then you want to laugh at it like girl yes. i'll beat you up you yeah. but then i'll be like but when they don't know i'll be like oh man like i feel like i can't be mad at her right. i gotta you gotta always be mad at the dude mm -hmm. it's you always, always, it's always the girl. like even though people be like you know it takes two people to talk and all this stuff all that but still he if that's your dude he was the person that entertained. he was supposed to be loyal to you yeah like he's the only one that owes you loyalty not the girl not his mom and not you know nobody yeah. he owes you your loyalty because you're so in a relationship with the girl but so yeah, yeah. we are done 